back. Today we are doing another Aldi taste test. If you haven't been here for any of my Aldi taste tests, I will link the previous ones down below. We're gonna start with salsas. I got the Mama, no, Casa Mamita Chunky Salsa from Aldi, and then traditional Tostitos Chunky Salsa, both the mild versions. When you look at the ingredients on these, they look pretty much identical. Like, you cannot really tell the difference between either of these. The Aldi one has a tiny bit less sodium, the same amount of sugars. Basically, they look exactly the same. They even look almost identical inside of the jars, so I'm really curious to see if I can tell the difference in taste with these ones. Okay, here we go. The jars are exactly the same. I'm not gonna... Yeah, 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 jars. Should I smell them? Is that weird? Just smell them also? Ooh, that one kind of has a funny smell. Am I dipping it? Am I dipping it? Mm -hmm. Okay. That tastes like every salsa I've ever had at any backyard barbecue. Yeah, that's giving me like PTSD from like bad parties I've gone to, okay? That tastes like it went bad. That tastes like it went bad. Can you please check the date on that? 2021. Tostitos. Aldi. <laughs> it literally tastes tasted like it had gone bad. That's nasty. That's not good. Try that. This tastes just like salsa. Not like the best salsa I've ever had, but it tastes like... It's just so strange because the ingredients are exactly the same. I don't know how they messed it up. Do you think Tostitos hand picks their tomatoes from a garden and then, maybe, and then maybe, some little woman is chopping no, them up? but maybe they have a better farm that they go to. I think it's preparation. Like maybe this is overcooked or something. All right, next up we are doing... I want to call these Capri Suns, but that's not the proper word. I guess they're like fruit fruit pouch, fruit juice pouches. The uh, Aldi one is natural nectar fruit punch flavored juice drink. And then we have, of course, Capri Sun, also fruit punch. All right, when we look at the ingredients of these two juices, they look almost the same. If you hear noises in the background, it's just my baby talking. Are you being noisy? Yeah. Let me see what you taste like. <laughs> we gonna eat some snacks? They both say that they contain 10% fruit juice, which doesn't really seem like enough fruit juice considering these are fruit juice pouches. Technically Aldi has one gram less of sugar per pouch, but it says 25% less sugar. And Capri Sun is claiming 35% less sugar. And listen, I'm not good at math, but I know that that doesn't add up. So pretty much these things look totally identical. So I'm curious to see if one tastes better than the other. I don't even know what they look like, uh, okay. but okay, I guess so. Here comes the first one. Just put your mouth up. Get your hand out of the way. This is weird. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's sweet. That's, that's lots of sweet. It's very sugary. That one tastes more fruit punchy. And it's a little less sweet. They taste really similar. The first one's like a little more sweet. I think the first one is Capri Sun. And I think the second one is Aldi. The first one tastes more like fruit juicy and the second one tastes more watery. And that's what I'm gonna go with. This one tastes more like, has a little more like of a fruit punch. Like a, like real fruit punch, you know, if you know what I mean? The ingredients in these are almost identical and you really can't taste the difference. So anyways, we'll say that Aldi wins this one because they're cheaper, the ingredients are basically exactly the same and it tastes the same. The only difference is the straw was harder to get into this one. More chance that you're gonna look like an idiot at the lunch table. Next up, we are testing out uh, cookie mixes, and these are empty because I already baked the cookies this morning, so we can test them out. We have the Baker's Corner chocolate chip cookie mix up against Betty Crocker. Looking at ingredients, they are almost identical until you get to the end. The Aldi one has a few like extra weird things. Whey, cello scum, whole egg salad, soy let lecithin. 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 Wow, I was really off. Lecithin. The C is, the C is soft and enzymes, whatever that means. But if you were looking at just the nutritional label and not the ingredients, the Aldi ones appear to be healthier. The calories are a little bit lower. The saturated fat and the total fat is actually 50% less than the Betty Crocker. I mean, it's not bad, but I don't know. I need to try the other one to compare. I don't know. This one's way better. This one's like, Grainy. This one just tastes like a way more delicious cookie, and this one has a kind of a weird after flavor, and the texture is, is bad. There's a second amount just to try for each one. I won't turn down more cookies. That tastes a little better, but this one is Betty Crocker. It's smoother. I mean, not weird. This one's got kind of a weird texture. That's my final answer. 
I'm mean, really surprised if I'm wrong. What? Really? Yeah. This one has like a weird yeah, texture. Like the thing yeah. It. This one like right. tasted like it wasn't mixed properly. Wow, these are so much more delicious and they were better for us. All right guys, next up we are doing K-Cups. I don't have my whole box because I take mine out. But at home for K-Cups, I typically drink Starbucks, but they had a box of K-Cups Barissimo. I actually don't know if these are Aldi only brand, but you get them Aldi. They were much cheaper than my uh, Starbucks, except when you get Starbucks on sale, which is a deal. And it's a dark roast, so I'm gonna compare it up against my dark roast from Starbucks, and we'll see. I mean, I would be really impressed if this was as good. I even put them in the same mugs so that I wouldn't be able to tell. I'm gonna smell this one first. If I just smell, this one smells better. I'm really nervous about burning my lips. It's not bad. I don't think this is Starbucks, but this is not bad. I know for sure. I feel like 90% sure. But this is Starbucks. It smells better, it tastes better. This one has the taste that you get from kind of cheaper coffee that sometimes tastes cardboardy. And if I'm wrong, then I will switch to Aldi coffee, I guess. Honestly, the Aldi coffee was better than I thought it was gonna be. Some K-cup coffees are super watery and gross, but this was watery and a little cardboardy, but it had more flavor. Like I had to, I had to do a double just to make sure. But what really gave it away was the smell. Like this one right away from the smell, I could tell it was a better coffee. All right, last up, we are going to test out pizzas, which are currently in the oven, which is why I just have the boxes. A lot of you have been telling me in my Aldi videos that the Aldi pizzas are like really good. So we really wanted to try them. So we got the take and bake five cheese pizza. This is a huge pizza and it totally got smushed in our freezer because it is not the size for a small freezer. Only get this if you have a really large freezer or you're gonna cook it right away. Yeah, when you buy the Aldi one, it comes refrigerated. Like you take it and you bake it. We froze it. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. And we're going up against good old traditional traditional DiGiorno. So the take and bake from Aldi has like more cheeses on it. This one calls itself four cheese, but it's really just like three different kinds of Parmesan. I feel like that's cheating. The DiGiorno has, let's see, nine grams of fat. The Aldi has 14 grams of fat. Seven grams of saturated fat on Aldi and only four grams of saturated fat on DiGiorno. But I mean, you don't eat pizza to go low calorie. What it really comes down to with pizza is taste and which one's more delicious. Okay. One's good, a lot of sauce, but it's really doughy too. It's not really super crispy though, and saucy. Uh, it's delicious though. It's not as saucy. It's like doughy too, like it's thicker doughy, but like crispy on the bottom, and cheese is so much cheesier. I'm gonna say that I like this one better. I'm pretty sure this one's DiGiorno. The dough is, tastes better overall, even though it didn't get so, so crispy like this one did. And it's got like a better sauce cheese ratio. This one's really cheesy, which I appreciate, but something about it tastes just a little too fake, kind of, and I'm correct. Something about the, the crust on the bottom is just kind of a weird crunchy, not like a good crunchy, if that makes sense. All right, well that does it for this Aldi taste test. I feel like with this taste test, we had like big winners and big losers. Like that Aldi salsa, you probably couldn't pay me to eat it again. And the Aldi pizza, it just was a huge miss for me. I don't know if there's another one that's really good. If you have an Aldi pizza you really like, definitely let me know. Um, but actually, Michael had it and my mom had it because we were having it for dinner and we all agreed that the Aldi pizza just for us was a bust. But the Aldi winners were big winners. Like that Aldi fruit punch was just as good as Capri Sun. The cookies were better and like half the price. And I was actually really impressed with the coffee even though I still prefer my Starbucks coffee. Like I said, I will link all of my other Aldi taste tests and other just like name brand versus store taste tests that I've done down below. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. This is an aloe plant that I killed. I just don't have a green thumb, you know?